You look down at the little seedling sticking up out of the dirt. It's hard to imagine that one day this small tuft of green might grow to be a tree that towers over you. But where will this tree get all of the materials it needs to grow? From the soil? From the water? What about from the air? Like humans, plants are made of mostly water. But when you take away the water, where does the rest of the plant's mass come from? If you remove the water from our bodies, you would find that carbon makes up most of the rest of our mass, or weight. The same is true for plants. Humans and animals get carbon from the food they eat, which is often plants. So where do you think the plants get carbon? They get it from the air. The air around you seems empty, but it's not. Air is made of tiny bits called molecules. When you look closer at the molecules in our air, you'll find that it is mostly nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Plants actually absorb this carbon dioxide from the air through small openings in their leaves or other tissues. These openings are called stomata. Once inside a plant, the carbon dioxide is broken down and some of the carbon ends up in the chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are special cell parts that hold chlorophyll, the molecules that make most plants green. Chloroplasts are also where photosynthesis takes place, which is how plants convert sunlight energy into food they can use. Carbon, water, and energy are used in this process to make glucose, which is a type of sugar. Glucose molecules can then combine to form long chains called cellulose, which are used to build plant structures like cell walls. So the carbon from the air, along with water and energy from the sun, help to make these structures. As cells grow, they divide and make new cells. These new cells are how plants get bigger. The most amazing part of this process is changing air into plant material. This sort of magic trick transforms something which seems weightless and empty into material that has weight and that you can see. From a tiny seedling to a tall tree making seeds of its own, plants grow by pulling carbon out of the air. So in the end, plants really are made out of thin air.